So anyway, here we are after my last video, which uh, you should have watched really. I just conquered that badass mountain over there. And I've dropped down now into this little village here, which is uh, well tucked away from anywhere. And my little picnic area here seems to have been overgrown with these poxy flowers. I hate these things. Absolutely hate them. I destroy them on sight. At my place, because they got these poxy... Poxy seeds with hooks on them. They get all over you and you just end up... Anyway, I digress. So, to give you a little bit of the scenery. So, although this little road here is on the map, none of these spondiciously looking good trails just cut in the side of the hills. None of these are on the maps. None of them. Look at that one there, just going off into the mountains. Look at it, look, it just goes off and off and off. Probably just to get to farmland. Who knows? I don't, because I haven't been up it yet. I don't even know where it starts, but it's probably going to have to start somewhere down in that village. The trouble is, hanging out in villages at the moment is a bit sort of... I don't really like doing it because of the um, fear factor. Because unfortunately they're only getting one kind of television here and it ain't seeing anything nice about us. So, I try to keep a low profile. Um, yeah, but uh, I'll just get about my business now and fire on down this trail to the bottom, to the bus stop where I normally have 20 minute kip and an ice cream if I time it right because the ice cream man comes by and then um, up another little trail off to the next bit. Well, I'm looking at that sky out there. <laughs> I'm gonna get a bit of a. I'm gonna get a bit of a dousing if I don't get my finger out. So let's uh, go. While I'm up here, I'm just taking in the scenery. Because uh, this time of year, when it's all green, all pretty and green, all the uh, brown trails <laughs> stand out. Giggity. So uh, yeah, just looking around here. Everything's growing nicely, but in between the growing things you can see these gnarly little trails all cut through the mountain there as they struggle to get to their farms. Oh, oh I really love to be flip-flopping around on them. Look at that one there, look. Ying, 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 right out into, I don't even know what area that is, but it's out there. It's definitely out there. And it's freezing cold as well. What are we on now? Six or seven, seven or eight, August, something like that. It should be 30 odd degrees, but it's not. I'm four kilometers from the bus stop. It is 12 o'clock. Moving on. So this road was absolutely flat like it is now. Last time I come up here. Hideously dusty. Now it's a bit of a rutty oh, and slippery like hell. And whoops, yes, it is like being on ice, and most of the uh, trail going back is like this, only worse. But um, I've been riding for over two hours now, so pretty much my battery's about to die. And I brought a spare camera, but that's a single shot only, so once I press go. Oh, that thing records until I turn it off. That's kind of like a balance beam uh, practice there, but there's nowhere to fall. <laughs> well, apart from the dirt. Alright, we've started. So we'll have to go on. Splash me 
through the puddles like a naughty little boy. Quite often they're two or three foot deep. <laughs> you get quite a lot more than what you were thinking you were going to get, so... As a rule, I avoid them. is not half, half as bad as uh, the roof coming out here. That's been absolutely savaged. Right, I do believe we're on concrete now, so I'll see you at the bus stop. If you're still there and the battery's working, 